Hello, my name is Fusion, and this is a video review slash walkthrough slash show off video of Mega Man 3. Now, why Mega Man 3? It's obviously not the first Mega Man game, nor is it actually my first Mega Man game, or my favorite Mega Man game, so what gives? Uh, well, the answer is probably uh, because I'm the best at this one for the time being, uh, and uh, my goal is to give you the most uh, visually interesting and impressive looking run that I am capable of. So, uh, hopefully, I can deliver on that. Now, uh, what Mega Man 3 does have going for it is its music. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, now, although there are other things about this game that uh, yeah, may maybe are not quite as good, and you'll hear me voice my thoughts on those as we get to them. But for now, let's listen to some more great music. Really, really love the stage select theme in this game too. Uh, so I was saying how I'm the best at this game for the time being, and yeah, that's really just because I've been playing this one at the expense of all the others in recent years. It's taken me so long to record <laughs> this run, uh, so I'm just out of practice with this. But yeah, let's uh, go to Gemini Man stage first, which is totally not a good choice to start off with because you've got an opening section and later we'll see a closing section with a lot of enemies that if you're not careful, they'll send you tumbling into bottomless pits with a single hit. Not great. Not very beginner friendly. Uh, however, if you're anything like me, and the only way you can play Mega Man is by knowing all the enemies and the stage layouts like the back of your hand, uh, then it's not going to be a problem. I actually really like this opening section here because you can do fun things like this. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of that. Who do we have here? Um, are we gonna butt, or are we going to, uh... Oh, okay, oh, hey! We get to move on. Now you saw my foot sticking through that, uh... Uh, pardon me as I <laughs> do some fancy stuff with Rush, our robo-dog here. Uh, you saw me uh, having my leg poke through that barrier there before... Uh, that was Breakman, um, who broke our, our path forward for us. Uh, yeah, that's actually not a solid bear. You can totally uh, jump right down it. Uh, it ruins the music for the rest of the stage, though, and check this out. Woohoo! Um, and I really like the music in this stage, so that's why I uh, didn't go through with it. So, it's a staple of Mega Man games to have around four mini bosses, thereabouts, uh, for the entire game, and here we're just fighting. Uh, ducks, penguins, birds, things with beaks that shoot smaller ones out from them. They're kind of boring fights, uh, I'm not too fond of those, but hey, uh, they look great. Alright, so this is that second section over here where it's very dangerous. Um, there are things shooting at you from below, there are things coming down at you from above. A single hit from those while you're jumping across these platforms, you are dead in the water, in the most literal of senses. Now, if you have Rush Marine, the attachment for our robo-dog that lets you move around freely in the water, then you can just sit around in comfort and shoot as you move forward, but I mean, come on. I don't know about you, but I prefer to dodge gracefully in slow motion instead. Okay, uh, that, that takes a little... <laughs> it takes a lot of trial and error to get. Uh, so, happy about that. These are uh, the obligatory big jumpy enemies that are pretty invincible, but they're actually the easiest in this game out of any game, and <laughs> part of that is because you can just jump over them or slide onto them. Shout Man himself! This is one way to speed up the battle with him in the first phase. Shout Man's actually one of the very few bosses in the that Mega Man games had phases. In fact, he might be the only one, if I remember correctly, but uh, the second phase, you just shoot and he jumps every time you press the B button. And he also fires his Gemini laser, which slows down the game. I just want to show off all of his attacks there. There was no reason for to let him live that long. But here we go. Uh, now we get to have his weapon, the, the Gemini laser. And trust me, we're going to have some fun with Gemini laser. Um, so Mega Man 3 also has the uh, most complex and longest weapon yet theme in the entire series. And this might be my favorite weapon yet theme in the entire series, uh, for sort of that reason. Just, yeah. 
really like the vibe here. This is the password screen. We can't see it, but there are two colors of dots. Uh, maybe we'll see those later. Um, you enter a password, and you get to start off with uh, Gemini Man Beaten, number of E-Tex, and uh, I'm going to Needle Man next, so let's go. This is why we need Gemini Laser for this stage. <laughs> These porcupine enemies are really annoying if you let them stick stand around long enough because they'll shoot in five directions at you, and then they'll start rolling at you, uh, all invincible like, and they're really difficult to take care of once you let them get that far. Uh, you know what's... Yeah, sharpshooting. Uh, that's not difficult to take care of. So, Needleman stage, yeah, it lives up to its name, I guess, in some spots. We've got these giant pokey spiky things. Um, giant pikey spoky things coming down at us from above. They're just a timing challenge. And this is the reason why I want Gemini Laser for this stage. You... <laughs> You'd be hard-pressed to find a way to take that porcupine out before it gets problematic. Um, and even with Gemini Laser, it's actually quite hard. These are Hammer Joes. They're, uh, they're invincible, and their eyes are closed, and they're pretty annoying to deal with. But Gemini Laser also uh, takes them out in two hits, which, which is on the lower end of things. It's going to be a running theme for me to not really fight those things. And we Gemini Laser, so fun to watch bounce around. Oh wait, Gemini Laser was the weakness of Needleman, wasn't it? Well, I guess we're fighting him with the Buster instead. Or we're not fighting. Yeah, it's a little inconsistent. Uh, Needleman seems to want, him, want you to make the first move until he gets bored and makes the first move himself. Needleman is really annoying. He has three attacks. One, he fires his Needle Crown at you. Two, he jumps and uh, fires his Needle Cannon at you. And three, he will jump to random spots all around the room. And the problem is, he has no tells for when he is going to do any of these three attacks, so you're just left guessing most of the time. And depending on your positioning, some of those can be really, really difficult to dodge. Pro tip is to just try to get hit by the needles as much as possible. They do way less damage than uh, getting hit by Needleman himself. And unfortunately, Needleman is very far from the only boss in this game to have trouble telegraphing his attacks in a remotely fair way. And that's more or less a, one of the indications that Mega Man 3 was on a very rushed production schedule. So now we've got Needle Cannon, and what adventures await us with this weapon? Join us next time as we find out.